Well, before we start working, let's do two things. Number one, I'm going to change this from Untitled Document to let's put your name on it. And add resume because that's what we're working on. And of course, you're not going to write Ernie Pyle. Unless, of course, your mama named you Ernie Pyle. I'm also going to go to File, click, drag down to Page Setup. And I want to make sure that we are in the portrait mode, which is the uh, tall mode, not landscape, which is wide. And we're starting to see the terms wide and tall because of um, iPads and things like that. There are various paper sizes that you can select. Uh, letter sounds pretty good to me. And uh, I'm setting up so I have margins of one inch all the way around. Once that is set up, I can say OK. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, since this is a resume, the uh, uh, my name at the top, or at least the name of the imaginary student that is taking this class. And I press the return key a couple of times because I want to make sure that I have some space to uh, work on that doesn't have the formatting of this particular line up, up at the top. Okay, I triple clicked, selected everything. I'm going to center this text. The font, well, let's see, uh, not a lot of fonts to choose from, but I think I'll maybe try Impact. I may put it at about 18 points and it is centered. Okay, I'm down to my next line. Uh, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to give a school address. I'm going to press the tab key and I'm going to have a home ADRESS. -E okay, I'm going to like uh, triple click to select the entire line because I want this to be, I think Times Roman sounds pretty good. I'm going to make it 12 point. And I'm going to bold it and underline it. And that's not looking that great right now, is it? Okay, let's do this. In fact, um, let me just go ahead and put 103 Wallace Hall. And I'll put my home address is going to be 123 LOTUS Lane, Troy, Alabama 36082. And of course, you're putting your home address, not this made up address. All right, I am going to highlight all of that text because we have a tab setting in here, but it certainly doesn't look right. I'm going to come up to this particular line and I'm going to create a new tab by clicking in this space. Yeah, let me move over. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I'm going to add a right tab stop. And when I did, it moved everything over, and uh, this is starting to look just the way I want it to look.